hello world. Hello YouTube. Um, my name is Sapir and I'm a reseller in Las Vegas. And uh, I just recently purchased a GoPro to share my adventure, my journey with you as uh, I become a full-time reseller. Uh, this is my wife Karina. She is helping me with the business. She has been packing and shipping and taking care of our baby while I've been working to essentially uh, provide for this great adventure we're about to partake in. I've, I've been watching um, some other fellow YouTubers, um, taking inspiration from them, namely um, people like Lonnie, Justin, John, that's um, Lonnie from Garage Flips and Justin RVA Flips, John from Cincinnati Picker, um, Ryan and Pam um, from Thrift Mine. And Don't forget Storage Stalker. Storage Stalker, of course. Oh, Mama and Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, who else? Are we for, we're forgetting people. Matt from Part Time Pickers Blue and Bus. Steve Rakin. Of course, Dave from Blue Bus. <laughs> All right, so um, we thought that we would show you our first haul um no, not our first haul at least <laughs> our first haul since actually getting the gopro um because this is some of the things that we enjoy watching ourselves on youtube um we like to see what sells um we enjoy receiving bolos uh, now we're going to be able to give those out as well and just help other people uh in the reseller community because it's a wonderful community and we're just we're happy to be a part of it and uh i'm ready to take this first step with you guys uh so without further ado uh let's let's get into our haul so here's here's our first bag here uh we went to the goodwill claret center and um where you pay for pretty much everything by the pound and we'll try to give you the cost of goods on some of the stuff and try to run through what it might uh bring in in the long run so uh yeah go ahead take it away Okay, so, oh, you can do some of this stuff, too. Of course. <clears throat> so, first thing we found, which, honestly, I've never really heard of them before, uh, we got this MCM bag. Um, as right, you can see, the MCM's all over the bag, right there. Yeah. And a lot, uh, one way that you guys can, sister taught me this trick, uh, she's one for name brands, but she said, um, one way that you can tell if something is real is if its name is on the zippers and on the buttons and the stuff hardware. and you can see right there it says mcm on the button of course we're still going to do our research but right you can see it right there you can see it inside first right here looks good. uh comps of those purses run from about one to three hundred dollars so this this really could be a, a big score for us uh, we also found this doll, this 2015 Mattel. Now, the reason we took her, other than she's cute, um, <laughs> she's actually quite muscular, and I've never yeah, seen see that biceps in right there. a doll from Mattel. Usually, Barbie and all the other dolls from Mattel are not. <laughs> well, I'll show you the uh, stamp here on her it. back. Sorry about the lighting. It's really late here. Yeah, we're trying to get our first video in with this new GoPro, but hopefully you guys can see that. If you guys know what she's from, I thought maybe she was like Supergirl or something. She doesn't have any of the um, markings on her. Oh, where's her neck? And if you guys don't know, with uh, a lot of the Barbie dolls, they're going to have uh, different dates on the body and the head. You want to take that uh, later date. Generally, it's going to be the head because they like to reuse the, the the mold of the body, which you'll see a lot of the older dates on there, like the 66. And it's not really from 66. You have to see what type of Barbie it is um, by looking at uh, the neckline. It should uh, narrow it down for you. Uh, next up, we found Bambi. It's actually uh, from Sensi. So it's supposed to have these little pouches that clip on, and you can actually um, have different scents with them. And who doesn't love Bambi, right? That smells pretty good, guys. <laughs> Sorry, the Sensi, uh, Bambi, about how much are you looking to make on that one? Um, <clears throat> honestly, really don't know. I just really liked the idea. 
<laughs> um, I mean, I, I'd say 10 bucks, but okay. I mean, it's Scentsy. I found this cute little, um, it is, his name is Trevor. You can see you Trevor in there. He's a little, um, he's in a devil costume. Dressed up for Halloween, pale. guys. He's the cherished teddy bears. See the box there. Yeah. Um, now he doesn't go for a lot, but he was selling consistently and well, tis the season to sell things like this. So I picked him up because even if he doesn't sell, I thought he was adorable and I wouldn't mind keeping him for myself. And that's the really cool thing about this business is that if you find something that's really cool, you could easily keep it for yourself if it doesn't sell. All right. So now I don't think he's going to sell. <laughs> <laughs> that's still such a great item. I just thought it was so hilarious. Do you guys remember him? I don't know what's wrong with his lip. I don't know if the other one's online. <laughs> yeah, or like you can that. see he's like, got what like is this going white or that? yellow lip. I don't know what that is. But it is earnest. I mean, he t his. Yeah, he's it doesn't work properly, demonic, but. But it's still such a cool find. It's just, especially, you know, especially if you could fix um, the old reason. computer. Like I'll show you, the old computer is surrounded by my the, all the video games that I'm going to be selling. I I started my reselling because of my passion for video games. I had collected extras, and I decided to sell off the stuff that I wasn't using and realized what kind of potential there was there and started looking into things and that's that's how i met the wonderful resale community that exists on youtube so yeah you can see there's there's just a big mess over here right now uh, we'll be cleaning that up very soon but um part of the haul from today is what we have right here um we did get this so this is another thing to keep an eye out for um if you do find these well, anything from a casino in the first place is going to be collectible and people are going to be looking for it. But if you find these these um, spinning, um, I don't know what to call them, the spinning poker chip holders, um, they actually sell. Uh, there's a demand for these. So, And this one, this one spins really nice, like I'll show you right here. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Came with the carts. Um, something to keep in mind is if something is very, very heavy, uh, you can ask for a price at the Goodwill Clearance Center, and that's what we did here. Uh, so we got a price on that one. I believe it was two ninety nine, so three bucks for that would make like thirty, twenty five maybe. It's pretty good. I got a rotary tool down here, so that's what's in here. Uh, it came with some accessories, and this was one ninety nine or something like that. It's really cheap. I asked for a price again. Um, so you can see the rotary tools in there, and you got a bunch of the um, accessories right here inside of there. But then one of the coolest finds that I, I think we had today, if I could get this out of the way. Boy, Lon, you weren't joking about this one-handed thing. You've really got a talent there, my friend. Um... So I got a bunch of these model rail rotors. It's not just the the rail rotor. It's um, there's some like flying models and, and cars and stuff. But you can see. Let me show you down here. This whole stack is all old 50s and 40s magazines on these model trains. And you can see all of these old advertisements. And this is very, very neat. Model trains are really huge. Yeah, this is this is very, very big. I haven't comped this yet. I haven't even started to scratch the surface. I, I just have a feeling this is going to be huge. Uh, keep in mind, guys, uh, if you sell magazines like this, you cannot send them media mail. Because of the advertisement. No. Uh, you can't send video games media mail either. That's another thing that you need to keep in mind. You can't send uh, foreign language material as media mail. It's another thing. You should always research what, because uh, they will open media mail and they will charge the receiver, not the sender. And that could cause some problems, especially on uh, eBay. Yeah, feedback is really important. Yeah, the, the key. Uh, the higher the feedback, you get top rated. 
uh, you do you set up your post right, you get Top Raider Plus. More discounts means more money in your pocket, less money in eBay's pocket. Uh, let's let's continue. We have a couple more things to show you before we're done. Um, we grabbed a couple of backpacks here. I know it's kind of dark in this hallway. Let me try to turn on a light. Yeah, the lighting's not that great. Uh, as you can see here, we have an Adidas backpack and a. This is the Adidas one. Very nice. All the zippers work. That's something that you want to pay attention to when you are picking up backpack. Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, we got a bit of a late start today. Uh, there's a little one. Say hi, Lark. Say hi. And there's a, there's... His name's Kratos. Kratos. We've got a million nicknames for him that you'll be hearing. Uh, well, we're going to pull packages to uh, show you what sold. I think it was five five items, right? Oh, I'm going to see. One, two, three, four. Uh, gross. Six, six, eight. six packages. Uh, so gross on those six packages was somewhere around like $188. And please excuse the garage because it is a mess. Yeah, this is going to be um, all fixed up. Uh, we've got a lot going on here, as you can see. Uh, our death pile is really collected over here. Uh, a lot of this is, is more household and, and um, our child stuff for when he grows up that we've been saving for him. Like vehicles and stuff back there. But uh, let us uh, just pull the items, uh, show you what sold, uh, tell you what they sold for, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's begin. Okay, we have CS2, this is going to be the Buckeyes uh, car light. CS6, you can see I've labeled them. Um, we're going to get a better uh, shelving here, better situation for everybody. Soon enough. CS2 is going to be the top, baby. I thought you said six. I said CS2. Sorry. So it's gonna be that light. I'll play that back. It will. <laughs> Let's begin. Okay, we have CS2. <laughs> so it's this guy right here. And he's sold for $9.99 plus ship. Hold on. Let me let me get him out of here. Okay, uh, I got him. So here he is. Uh, we tested him. He just he hooks up like normal to the car. Um, lights up. you, you can uh, put them on your windshield right there, stick them on and he lights up. And, uh, right now is the time to be selling this kind of stuff with, uh, college football and the NFL also starting uh, a lot of fans out there trying to buy memorabilia and collectibles. So, uh, that's our first item. And that one sold for $9.99 plus, ship. $9 plus shipping. Uh, next item that sold is this. Sidekick by Electrolux. It's uh, an accessory for a vacuum. Um, you can see that right here. And we just looked this up and saw that uh, it, it was an item that was moving. And people do look for accessories for their vacuums all the time. Um, our, our son's trying to lock us in here. <laughs> Not yet, buddy. We'll close the door in a little bit, okay? Uh, so that one sold for... That one was $12.99 for shipping. There you go, $12.99. So that's a good one. We'll be uh, packing those up in a minute. Then, uh, next item, this is uh, probably our best seller from yesterday. Is uh, this Napa Pit Stop Race Team truck. Uh, we <clears throat> picked this one up, or she picked this one up the for like two bucks. No, 75 cents. There you go, 75 cents. She got a bunch of these pickup trucks, and this this one was really valuable. Um, and this is something that we were telling you about yesterday in the video, but like you can see, this is missing its ramps and missing a little piece that sits on top right here. And it's still sold, and it sold for... Uh, $29.99 plus shipping. So that's a $30 item, and she paid 75 cents for it. So another very good sell. Put that over here. I have this... All situated in the future. This uh, is this decorative uh, wall flag. Am I holding it the right way? It's there you go. The it's the who. who. Alaric. Ooh, I almost <laughs> kept this one for myself. Yes, um, and that one sold for. Uh, this one was seven ninety nine plus shipping, which so is going to be very light, so they yeah. didn't really pay very Easy much. thing to ship, but it's going to be under four ounces, which is going to be the lightest that you can ship things with the USPS. 
Alaric, can you open the door? <laughs> so, I'm gonna find the other one for you, but you can talk about the story on this one if you'd like. So here's our next item. It's a, uh, it's a Patriots uh, commemorative poster uh, that comes with also two coins that uh, come with a certificate of authenticity and it labels them as two 24 karat gold overlay medallions. So a nice a nice pickup there. Uh, this one sold for, uh, we had it up for $64.99. Uh, we sent out a best offer for $49.99. And uh, the guy accepted. He, he also told us that he was interested in this next item, which is right here. And this is an Anheuser Marzen beer sign. Uh, it's a bit older. I couldn't find a lot of these out there, but they are out there. Like you said in the last video too, people really do like to collect um, alcohol memorabilia things. Yeah, a lot of that. And you, you can see that on the um, the other stations uh, that we we mentioned. You'll you'll see a lot of uh, slit signs and, and stuff like that that uh, our friends are picking up and. Yeah, it's it's doing really well. We had it up for twenty four ninety nine, and combined here, we knocked the price down for the gentleman, uh, uh pretty much to sixty four ninety eight for the two, and we'll be we'll be glad to move the inventory, and this barely costs us anything. The Patriots uh, we got at the Goodwill Clearance uh, Center, so that's by weight. That's what about uh, less than a pound, very very cheap, and then the Anheuser Busch uh, shot we also got at. No, I got that at a yard sale, actually. There you go. So it was, I think, maybe a couple bucks. Yeah, I sold it for 15 so that's that's really nice. And I'll go out to the same buyer, and um, we're going to refund the shipping difference for him. We let him know that that's what we're going to do. So we'll do that here in a little bit as soon as we get this all packed up. Where's our child? Uh, our child just went around the corner over here. Usually that means they're up to Alaric, what are you doing over here, Alaric? He is buckling his seat. <laughs> he loves buckling his seat. Well, I believe that's it. Those are the items that sold. Again, it was gross about 188. Uh, not not a great day, but it's it's where we want to be uh, at the moment. Uh, we're growing. To stay consistent. Yeah. And yeah, consistently making about. $200 or more in sales a day is is good because uh, that's that's the kind of income that um, that I could go full time with and and expand and hopefully double triple my uh, my income. Um, but we're gonna get these items packaged up and get ready to take them to the post place. So we'll uh, I guess we'll catch back up with you guys in a little while. Thanks guys. Uh, again, if you guys liked the video, liked uh, what we're doing here, please hit the subscribe button and it'll notify you of our future videos. Have a good day. We'll